Tonight, a Utah family is feeling a sense of closure after a Provo police officer who died more than a decade ago is just now being recognized as having died in the line of duty. New, new specialist Lauren Steinbrecher explains why it took so long to honor that officer and why there's a fight to get the same recognition for others. Officer Trenton Halliday passed away in 2006 after working here at the Provo Police Department for a decade. But it wasn't until last week that his name joined the names of other officers who have died in the line of duty at a national memorial. Officer Trent Halliday knew the meaning of serve and protect. He knew the meaning of sacrifice. They would go in with little to no protection. Lisa Halliday watched her husband, the father of their two boys, keep the community safe, busting countless meth labs in the 2000s. But she also began watching his health decline. Then Trent was diagnosed with cancer. Even his doctor at the Huntsman said that he believed that was the cause of his cancer, was the carcinogens. Less than six months later, Trent passed away at the age of 37. To add to Lisa and her boys' devastation. It's been hard for the boys and I um, to not feel the support. Trent's name wouldn't go on any memorial walls or be part of any line of duty death recognition for 16 years. It's just been that constant pressure and reminding. The organization's Fraternal Order of Police and Concerns of Police Survivors fought to put Trent's name on the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C., not just for Trent or his family's sake, but for the more than dozen other officers FOP President Brent Jex says have passed away from cancer caused by meth lab exposures before hazmat protocols were put into practice. The tragedy was no different than, than in any other line of duty death. And it's putting that together and it's, and it's seeking the, really the justice. Last week, Lisa and her sons flew to Washington, D.C. Hearing for the first time from the state of Utah that recognition, Trenton F. Halliday, an honor. I feel like now he can rest in peace. She and Brent know there are more families still suffering, families who deserve that same closure. I think it was really healing for the boys, my boys, and I. And I think these other families need that healing. I really do. Jack says that he is working with the state and Congressman Burgess Owens, hoping to change state and federal laws and get the names of every single one of those other officers added to that memorial wall in D.C. and the memorial wall here in Utah State. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.